ever since Navia came into the game, Jean's been real quiet. Where's Jean? Hi, it's me, your boy Yak, back with another video. So today, today we're having a little discussion. We're talking about what? Did you guess it? Genshin Impact. <laughs> um, so I was playing Genshin. I'm playing the new event. Not a new event, the summertime. Summertime sadness event going on in Genshin Impact right now. In lieu of what we get, normal archipelago. Now it's sort of like fantasy land extravaganza. Um, but I was talking to sort of chat on Saturday just as I was playing. Oh, yes. If you didn't know, I do play games on Twitch. Um, that is twitch.tv backslash forward slash whatever it is. You heard me, James. Um, we were talking about... I was just playing and I just... There was something about sort of as I was going through that just felt so... Ugh. <laughs> and I have gotten past... I've gotten like three quarters of the way through the main sort of section of it at that point. I was like, you guys, I just can't, I just, there's something off. There's something that feels off about this game right now. And we were going, talking back and forth, and I was like, they're like, well, what, do you, what is it? People are like, oh, maybe you've outgrown the game. I was like, well, no, because I. it's more interesting when the main sort of story is going on, which is true of, like, most games and, like, most sort of, like, whatever plots like subplots aren't as exciting usually as the main plot but then we sort of came to the conclusion that the main so hoyoverse they don't hmm they have a they like switch genres a lot of the time main story is very serious like the fontaine storyline you're in jail, people are crying, people are dying. <laughs> like, and then you get here like toy blocks. <laughs> to toy blocks and origami. Story. Not that like they're not an op semi-open world R RPG. That is not what I mean. I mean in like tone quality. Cause like if you look at, if you would take sort of the main Archon quest and what sort of happens to characters in the world during the Archon Quest. It's very dark and sort of heavy, very, giving very much anime vibes. Like, for example, like Fontaine. Um, the people, people be doing the, the bibbidi bobbidi boop with the, in the water. Try to do that as least spoilerly as possible. Um, in all those things, like people are dying, people are crying, so many people are crying. I mean, in my last video, you saw Navia, who's not even one of the main characters, like, crying her eyes about her dead dad. So that's great. Pulls out your heartstrings, you're very invested. And then you get to their sort of sub events, where right now we're in Tinker Toy Land with fairies and whatnot, and where like blocks and toys and like toy dragon and you're just like oh this is this is why they're like trying to i don't know what they're trying to do actually because because their main story is appeasing to sort of a universal sort of you know type of person but then these sub side quests seem very sort of childlike the mechanics aren't like that interesting going on so it's like like the little do 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 the frog hop time music thing in the event. To the flying squirrel of it all, you're just like, oh no. Like it's just, it seems so kitty and so, I don't know. Like, and then the other thing is like, the storytelling isn't compelling enough to sort of grasp because they have so many different plot lines going on. Like this one has to do sort of with a Hexen circle, but it's like, you haven't really thought, you haven't really thought too much about them, but you know, Alice always shows up in the summer events. So you're like, oh, I guess, see, this is why. And then you're like, oh, they're trying to sort of bring this back thing in from patch 1.2 
during the albedo sort of sequence of it all and you're just like oh no and it's not written the best so you're just like Ugh. so that's 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 the issue i think it's like they it's not that i'm not trying it's just the game during the patches post archon quest feels so childish and you're like what is this but i will say one of my normal complaints for the summertime event is that they usually invest so much time in their four stars and it's like no i want my these people that i spent good wishes on like i want them to be part of the story but so i'm happy that they use chose um five stars to really be the stars and i will say the casting was great who they picked like nilu for sure guardian magic princess woman of the forest navia great you know what's so funny is jean wishes she was what navia is ever since navia came into the game jean's been real quiet where's jean have we heard from jean no she's cowering in her little office she's like <laughs> I'm just not as good as Navia. Which you're not. Sorry, Jean. You're just not. Navia's serving on all fronts and you can't keep up. So I will compliment them on that. I just. I'm not giving up on the game. I played this game for what? Three, four years now? With some breaks, of course. I feel like if you haven't. If you were like started from the beginning. Started from the beginning. And you haven't taken a break from Genshin at all? That's crazy. Good for you, but. Whew, that's quite. I could. No. I've taken, I think, three sort of Genshin hiatuses. <laughs> that's not the that word. That's not how you. That, you know what I'm trying to say. Um, since I've played, and I'm gonna play through Natlan. Um, there's some information coming out about Natlan that is not sort of that enthusiastic to my sort of gaming spirit, but we can cover that at a different time. Same place, different time. <laughs> um, but that's all. Like, I just, I would be cool, like, if you want to share your thoughts down in the comments below, um, how you're sort of enjoying it all, if what I'm saying sort of resonates with you at all, if you think I'm crazy, I am crazy, but, I mean, I play Genshin Impact. <laughs> We're all a little bit. We're all a little bit crazy. <laughs> So, anyway, that's all I got for this one. Um, this is just a little discussion video. Um, like and subscribe if you enjoy seeing my face on the internet of YouTube. Or don't. <laughs> Your choice is up to you. So, awesome. Um, I will see you again soon. Miss you already. <laughs> Have a great rest of your day. Or night, depending where you view my face from. I'll check you. Okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I'll see you on the flippity-dippity.